What's up everybody? It's your boy Stevie the Black. That's S T E V W E the Black. I'm back and I am here as your 2017 NBA champion. I said that if Golden State focused, they was going to win it in 6. Well, evidently they proved me wrong because last night KD said I want this ring. Last night, Steph Curry said, this, I want this ring. Last night, Clay Thompson and Draymond Green said, I want this ring. And that's what happened. They showed up. They showed out. They handed their business. They won in front of their home crowd. And they are your 2017 NBA champions. Now, you are, you obviously still going to have your haters. Haters who are like KD's weak. I have no respect for KD. Yeah, that is that that that. He went to an already well old machine and stuff like that. Well, you know what? Forget those people because they aren't the champions. Kevin Durant is a champion now. Steph Curry is now a two-time NBA champion and a two-time and an NBA. Uh, MVP. He reminded everyone, and last night Curry got his revenge shot. He had Kyrie right in front of him. He's breaking his ankles, doing everything. Curry shoots a three right in front of his face, and the crowd went wild. That was Curry's revenge shot from last year when he did it in his face. He was like, give me the rock. I want to do this in front of Kyrie, and he got it done. But, uh, woo! It's so weird because game four, I was so nervous because I'm like, oh my God, they're not going to sweep them. I don't know if they're going to sweep them. It's just not going to happen. I said it. They're not going to sweep the Cavs. I said it from the very beginning and they did not. And then, and then the Warriors came out and then for game five, I wasn't nervous at all because I said, the Warriors are going to handle their business. And they handled their business. And so it's now it's just how many more titles are they going to win together? Two, maybe three. They're going to be at the top of the mountain for a while. It all depends on what's up with LeBron and them, you know. Obviously, he still got one more year in Cleveland. So we're projected to have Golden State. Cleveland 4 for next year and then LeBron supposedly going to leave Cleveland and go off somewhere else to either the LA Los Angeles Lakers or the Clippers so we'll see we'll definitely see but it's like it's great it's it's great it's great to be a champion but now that basketball is over it's time to shift focus it's time to shift focus and focus on my first love. That's right. I'm not talking about a girl. I wish I was. But I'm not. I'm talking about the Philadelphia Eagles. It's time for my boy, Carson Wentz, to get some gold. It's time for Alshon Jeffrey to get some gold. It's time for uh, 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 LeGarrette Blunt to get some more gold. It's time for Eagles Nation to scream on for their team as Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles not only trash Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott in the NFC East, but they gonna go to the playoffs, they gonna do what they gotta do, and they are gonna go straight to the top, and they're gonna win the Super Bowl. Nah, I don't know about all that. But we're gonna do something. I know we're gonna be in the playoffs. I know that for sure. <sighs> it, it just feels good. Feels good to be champion. I'm gonna get my shirt. I'm gonna get my brother his shirt. And it just feels great. It, it feels great. And, and so, but I wanna take it back to this, tone it down for a little bit, and, and take it back to what I was talking about earlier when people were still hating on KD. Now, I'm gonna say this, and I'm not saying it out of hate or anything like that, but I was watching Nitro Freak who's a fellow Eagles fan, so I got nothing but love and respect for him, even though I don't know him like that. Well, I don't know him at all. But I got love and respect for him because he's an Eagles fan. We have, obviously, the same love for a team that 
disappoints us every year. But you know what? We still come back every season and say, let's go. So I'm not saying it's for beef or anything like that, but you know, he was like, he's rooting for LeBron and everything in the finals and everything like that. And how LeBron's way better than Michael Jordan. Look, when the time that LeBron retires, he probably will have surpassed Michael Jordan in just about every category that he's in. So that fact is no. And he's saying that Michael Jordan wasn't even all that good. I was like, whoa, brother, you need to pump the brakes for a second there. And he's talking about how how KD joining the Warriors was an unfair advantage for everyone. Well, yeah, I guess you can say that. Sure, whatever. But if it would have, so is Alshon Jeffrey joining, you know, the Eagles, is that an unfair advantage? No. Because, you know, he's not Kevin Durant. No. So, what? okay. Okay, if Julio Jones or Antonio Brown joined the uh, Philadelphia Eagles, would, would that have been, oh, my God, how is that fair? You know? It's just, I, I don't get some people's logics. Again, I'm not trying to start nothing, but he was like, I, I think he was just in the moment. Because what if some superstar talent wanted to come and join the 76ers, who I think he's a fan of. So what if they wanted to come and join the 76ers? Would he be mad about that? Would he? It's like, so I, again, I don't know that much about basketball. I just started watching basketball fully this year. I started watching it last year again because of the Warriors, because I didn't watch basketball, because me personally, I thought basketball was boring, and you're gonna go, wait, what, you thought basketball was boring, I don't know why, but I just couldn't get into it, I just could not get into basketball, I just thought it was boring, and then I saw Steph Curry play, and I was like, my god, look at this guy, this man is shooting half-court shots and making them, and he's just doing all these incredible things, this man's got handles, He, he he's just, oh my god, so I, I fell in love with Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors, and I've been cheering for them ever since they were in the playoffs. Ever since Curry went down in the playoffs last year, I was like, oh, man, I hope he's okay and everything like that. And I was hoping cheering for them to break the record and everything. So I, I, because of Golden State, I, that's the reason why I watch basketball. And when they got Kevin Durant, I was like, wow, they got KD. And, and, and it's like Draymond said, if we lost the finals but we got KD because of it, well, then thanks for the loss, you know? So that's like if that's like if the Eagles went to the Super Bowl, right? And they lost the Super Bowl, but they got this top free agent in return. That's like, well, thanks for the prize. Now we got that extra help that we needed, right? To push us over the edge so we can win that first Lombardi trophy, right? Because you want that Lombardi trophy, right? Because I want that Lombardi trophy. I've been watching the Eagles since 2010. It's been seven years, bro. I'm ready for a championship. So, I, I mean, maybe he was just a prisoner of the moment. I'm not really sure. I, I mean, like I said, by the time LeBron retires, he probably most likely will surpass Michael Jordan in every category that he's in. But at the end of the day, he is three and five in the finals. That doesn't hurt him at all because last night he did show up to play, especially in the fourth quarter when nobody was doing anything. Well, he and Jr. and Tristan Thompson showed up. I'll say that. They were the only ones that showed up, you know, so, I mean, I don't know. He was, he, how he gonna say Kyrie sucks? But that, that's the thing, he was like, he was like, the whole team sucks. Kyle Corver is one of the best shooters in the league. Yeah, okay, he didn't show up. J.R. Smith showed up, so I'm not sure what he's talking about. Tristan Thompson in the last three games has shown up. Well, I'm sorry, I'm trying to think. Mm, yeah. In the last two games, he has shown up in game four and in game five, he has shown up. I'm see who else showed up. Uh, Kyrie had 40 points in the game previous to this, so Kyrie didn't show up. Kyrie had 31. I'm sorry, he had 38 in game three. He didn't show up. No, he didn't show up in the fourth quarter yesterday because he was missed. He was like 0 for six. But Kyrie Irving is their finisher. He is their closer. When LeBron, LeBron, that's not LeBron. That's Kyrie. So. Kyrie sucks. Kevin Love, you know, he has his moments where he shows up and he doesn't show up. But Kevin Love, Kev, Kevin Owens, Kevin Love isn't trash. Obviously, J.R. Smith showed up last night and everything like that. So the team isn't trash. It's just the Golden State Warriors were that much better. That's just what it was. And now they're going to win the title for at least two more years. You become a dynasty, do a three-peat, whatever you want to say. Um... And I'm really just going to enjoy that. So, you know what? It, whatever. But that's just my opinion. Again, I'm not trying to start. I'm just 
kind of responding to what he said yesterday because I was like, whoa, maybe he was just a person in the moment. Again, if again, if a free top free agent wanted to come join the Sixers or wanted to come join the Eagles, I'm sure he would have no problem with that. But that's just me, you know. So, um, that's about it. I mean, we'll see what happens now, but. I'm ready for football now. I'm ready for Carson Wentz and the Eagles to light it up and hopefully make some noise. Um, but with that being said, that's about it. I want to say congratulations to the Warriors. I want to say congratulations to KD. He's a champ. I want to say congratulations. I want to say nothing but love and respect to LeBron and Kyrie because you know what? At the end of the day, even though it's even though we beat them four one, they're still LeBron and Kyrie. They can still drop over 80 points combined or maybe even more on anybody on any given night so that being said that's about it so let's go birds let's go warriors congratulate you on the golden state warriors and that's it peace out y'all